Thanks for being here. So finally, Intel has released the microcode update 012B, which hopefully is going to address some instability with the 13 and 14 gen CPUs. If you have seen my previous video, there have been a lot of issues with that. Voltage spiking, crazy items, and so on. So this is supposed to fix that. And we're going to install it on the MSI Z798's motherboard. As we can see here, we have this CPU microcode update, which is the 012B. And the interesting thing here is the statement of Intel Intel, which is weird. As we can see on the first point, we have motherboard power delivery settings exceed Intel power guidance. So this means that Intel released this BIOS and all the settings and the manufacturer of the motherboard, they just don't care. They just apply whatever they think this is okay. So in my opinion here, the things are 50% between Intel and the motherboard manufacturers because they don't care. Just they don't apply what are the suggested in the settings from Intel, which I'm not saying that Intel doesn't have any fault in this because because of course they have messed up both 13 and 14 gen CPUs. And as we can see also here on the third point of this statement, we have the microcog for the voltage ED algorithm requesting high voltage at frequency and duration, which can cause minimum voltage shift. So this should address also that microcode 0129, which have posed, as we can see in my previous video, the core voltages and the spikes of the core voltages. So this is, <laughs> they, they even don't know what they are doing here. So apparently this, update is going to fix all those updates that they try to fix they they just don't have any idea on what they are doing as usual anyway so let's move on install the bios and check what are going to be the results as usual we are going to check some results before applying the bios and some other result after we apply the bios so one thing to keep in mind guys is when when you install the bios if you have an msi motherboard or first the manage and giant firmware then restart the system enter to your bios and then apply the new bios update Okay, guys, here we have some CPU tests on 3D Mark. As we can see, we have some results. Keep in mind that all the settings on the BIOS are the default settings, the recommended Intel settings. The only thing I have changed is the memory frequency because I want to get the maximum of what the memory have to offer in this case. So as we can see here, we have some results and some temps, and we will compare this with all the results that we are going to get from the new BIOS. As we can see here, we have also some temps on depending on what scenario was used cpu and the maximum of the temp as we can see here in the beginning was 92 degrees so let's check some other bench with occt and with cinebench and see to compare the, those results with right guys here we have 30 minutes of occt testing as we can see here we have some temps which are about 87 degrees that is not that much bad and we have also some voltages here as we can see we have 1.3 1.2 almost 1.3 and yes the, let's say that for all the cores we have 1.3 volts which isn't that much crazy high if you keep in mind with the previous BIOS version we have spikes also on 1.4 voltages which is crazy so let's head up to Cinebench and see because that is a stress test for the CPU and in that case we can get some different voltages on the cores and let's check that and here another thing we have the CPU package power which is about 300 watts and this is of course the maximum here we can check quickly some frequencies we have 5.5 gigahertz on the P cores and on the E cores, we have 4.3 gigahertz. So let's, as I was saying, so let's head to Cinebench and check some performances also there. Here we have some results on Cinebench 24 with 10 minutes test throttling in single core. And as we can see, we have some voltages here. The max voltage is 1.4. As we can see here, the voltages are different from the OCCT stress test, which I believe these two apps have different way of handling the voltages and also on how they balance all the load on the CPU. And and so on so the temps here for example we have up to 60 up to 76 degrees and the package the power package which is limited of course from the bios it stays and remains on 253 watts and again the clock here is 5.5 gigahertz and the e core is 4.3 gigahertz so let's do also multi-core test 10 minute test throttling and see how are going to be the results over there okay guys here we got the 10 minutes test throttling on cpu multi-core and here we 
we have also some voltages which are a little bit different from the single core less spikes and less high voltages and the temp it's about 88 degrees on the package and as we can see here again the power is 253 watts because that are the settings on the bike all right so those are the tests before we are going to apply the new bios so let's go through the bios install the new bios check some settings as usual and we are going to run again the same testing with the new bios right guys here we are on the bios with this is the old bios and as we can see the last build and date was on 13 of august 24 and let's go through some oc settings so as we can see here i have set it to intel default settings for everything except for the memory of course as i was saying earlier in the video i just want to get the most of my memory so let's go and update the bios and then check the settings again and then run some tests so guys once you install the new device you have to choose between these performance presets as we can see we have the intel default settings msi performance settings and uh, msi unlimited settings so what we are going to choose here is the intel default settings because we want to test this so i will select this and hit enter and right here we are on the default settings for the device we're going to want to go through the advanced settings to and then move to oc and then from here as we can see we have everything set to default settings intel default settings and we are going to change the RAM settings because we want again to get the best from the memory. Right guys, here we have 3 Mark CPU test. As we can see here we have some slightly different from what we have with the previous BIOS version and if we go down here we can check again the temperature was about 82 degrees so we have less heat here and less and the temps are a little bit different from what we have seen with the previous BIOS version and as we can see the frequency is almost 5.5 gigahertz hertz so let's head to occt 30 minutes stress test and check also over there what are going to be the results all right guys here we have 30 minutes of occt stress test as we can see the temps are around 87 degrees not that much bad i have to say the voltage is always a little bit high in my opinion we are about 1.3 volts 1.350 in some cases almost so yeah that might be okay if you are running this stress test and then we have the cpu package power which is about 200 190. In this case, as we can see here, the old CPU package power is less than we have seen with the previous BIOS was 303. So it was exceeding the power limit of 253 by almost 50 watts. Here we, we can see around 30 watts more or less of exceeding that limit power because all the CPU package power is always going to exceed that power limit. So let's go through Cinebench and check also some benches there because they are going to be different from the OCCT. Okay, guys. Here we have 10 minutes test throttling on Cinebench single core. As we can see, we are getting even two points more than we have used to get with the previous BIOS version. And here, we, as we can see, we have some voltages which are about 1.4 volts because I believe that Cinebench is different from the other test benches. So this is really going to stress your CPU and it's really going to stress also the voltages and so on. So as we can see here, really it's about 1.4 volts. So this is not good again, in my opinion. So I don't know what this BIOS update is going to fix. But anyway, the temps of the package are 84 degrees. Not bad in my opinion. And again, the power here, we have the power limit of PL1 of 253. So let's test out also the multicore and see what we're going to get over there. We have Cinebench 10 minutes test throttling. As we can see here, also we're getting 5 points more than the previous BIOS version. And the voltages here are a little bit different, a little lower than we have seen with a single core. And the temps are about more or less 87 degrees on the packages the power limit of as usual is 253 and the clocks we have 5.5 gigahertz on the p cores and 5.3 gigahertz on the e cores right guys that's all for this video as we have seen we have some different results from the previous bios the 01 to 9 and the 01 to b which is the latest bios for trying to prevent the cpu degradation on 13 and 14 gen cpus and i don't think this is going to be the solution for all the problems problems that these CPUs have but somehow they are trying to fix and they are trying to mitigate the degradation of those CPUs. I would recommend anyway to install this latest BIOS update in Z790 or in B760 motherboards because they are both going to have some benefits from these updates at least to prevent this uh, crazy spiking on the voltages and also the temps are going to be more or less under control. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions just 
just drop a comment below let me know what are your thoughts about this new BIOS update and if you are installing this BIOS update on your motherboard and what are your results. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this.